A powerful new set of features in AutoCAD 2012 is the ability to generate what are called drawing views in an almost automatic way from our model tab geometry. Here we see a base view and several projected views that have been generated from that base view. And these views have all come from the geometry that we see here on the model tab, which was authored in AutoCAD. Once we hop over to our layout tab, we go into the annotate ribbon here and find the drawing views panel. We can see that we have used the base view tool here and actually have projected a couple of views off of it. If we wanted to project some additional views, it's very simple to just hit the master view that you want to project from and then drag points out to generate either orthographic or isometric style views. If you change the base view characteristics, and here we've double clicked for editing and we can change, let's say the view style to go to a shaded mode of appearance, we can see that the base view actually drives the characteristics of the projected views that we have elsewhere within our layout tab. So it's very easy to modify those parameters as well. You'll also see that each view has a gripping point, so it's very easy to drag the location of these around. They remain associated to the base view automatically, unless you specifically break that alignment. But if you do break it, it's very easy to go back and repair it. You also have drawing view controls here that allow you to determine what kind of projection, thread representation, and the shaded view quality that you'll see here. And all of these will have some impact, of course, on the size of the model and the plotting performance. These drafting standards can be applied to any one of your viewports, but if it is applied to the base view, of course, it would cascade into the dependent or projected views as well. Another powerful feature of using these drawing views is that you can make changes in your model geometry, which will just grab part of this lifting hook here and, and move it over. Then once you go back into your layout view, the drawing views are intelligent enough to know that something about the geometry they're related to has been changed and they will notify you at glyphs. You'll then have a variety of opportunities for ways that you can update the viewports either one at a time or en masse. And you can see down here a warning bubble has been issued so that you know that the model geometry has actually been modified. So there's quite a few things for us to look at, and we'll start breaking them down into various smaller video topics as we go along. But this should serve to get you acquainted with the drawing views concept and some of the basic functionalities we'll be looking at in future segments.